Hello there guys and welcome to our first tutorial. In this tutorial um, we're gonna go ahead and talk about how we can uh, how we're gonna be creating our um, Laravel project and getting started. So what we're gonna be doing this is gonna be a series of videos where you're gonna go ahead and create a code um, kind of like a forum where individuals or users or your users could go ahead and you know register and then log in and be able to post a coding question regarding since Laravel is a PHP for everyone it could be regarding Laravel it could be regarding PHP or any other programming language where they can go ahead and post a question regarding that and then other users within your own uh, site could go ahead and answer it so it's gonna be a very simple version of let's say stack overflow or something like that so you guys can get a better understanding of Laravel and how the MVC framework uh, works and operates and how easy Laravel is and how useful it can be and how powerful and you could use it for other projects that you may be interested in so first of all let's go ahead and talk about things that you may need first of all if you have WAMP or XAMPP installed go ahead and start that and if you don't have it go ahead and download and install those so once you install XAMPP I have XAMPP running but you can install WAMP as well next thing you need is go to composer so let's go home here you go to compose or get composer.org and this is a dependency manager for PHP so what it does is basically it's very useful as later on once the project goes on we can go ahead and you know build um, you know we might go ahead and download packages or th third party packages which are very useful and includes on, on our project and once later on when somebody else let's say you want to somebody else uh, wants to get your code and basically run it somewhere else this composer what it can do is it can go ahead and grab all the third-party packages you know for you automatically and install it instead of you manually going and downloading one by one which could be a hassle so if you have a Windows machine like I do I'm running on Windows here so go ahead and you can download the composer uh, setup.exe and run that and if you have a Mac or you know some or you're running some sort of uh, Linux distribution then go ahead and follow the appropriate steps here and get that running so once you have Composer installed, uh, let's go ahead and here I'm going to go to documentation and I'm going to copy the following command here, Composer create project and what this allows you is to create a Laravel project using Composer. I'm going to open the command line, you can go and open the command prompt on Windows and make sure you navigate to the directory, to the XAMPP directory and go within the htdocs uh, directory. Within there. I'm going to go ahead and simply run the command and um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, download I'm going to call the project code hub but you can call you know this anything you would like or anything that makes sense to you and I'm going to go ahead and run this so what will this do basically composer will go out and basically download uh, all the packages and any anything associated with Laravel here or Laravel needs to run so we're going to go ahead and download all the packages and all the code and it will create uh, this project and it's going to put everything under the code hub um, uh, folder and what does this preferred disk so it will basically download the latest distribution here so we'll go ahead and find the uh, basically it will be Laravel 5.1 since that's the latest one and as you see, as you see here it will go ahead and find all the packages and all the, you know, the dependencies that Laravel you know, needs and it will install all those so while this is running let me put it here and basically this is the Laravel website and you might find this very useful later on or when you work in other projects so the doc is very well documented and is very useful and uh, so Laravel is an MVC framework which is stands for model view controller and it can be very powerful and uh, simple uh, simpler let's say simpler to you know create dynamic websites and, and you know very very dynamic websites so we're gonna go talk about we're gonna talk about MVC in the next uh, tutorial in more detail, so you guys get a better understanding once we go through the code, so you can get the concept of MVC and how Laravel uh, functions. In this tutorial, we're just gonna go ahead and make sure the code compiles and make sure we have Laravel running on our ZAMP server or on our Apache server, or you guys are using WAMP. On WAMP. So as you see here, that was done and completed. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna change so now we should have the folder so let me list so as you see here we have the code hub folder and once I go in that folder I 
can also see all the files that Composer go ahead and got and downloaded for me. So now we have the Laravel project ready and uh, well ready to go. So now if we go to our local host, we should be able to see this folder, code hub, and once we go, we should be able to see the Laravel uh, project that was created here, which is you know the basic project that comes with every Laravel uh, start. It's like the startup kit, and you can you know build on that and create your own website. But let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to localhost here. And actually I'm gonna localhost and type the name of the folder here. So code hub. And as you see here, you gotta you must click on the public folder. So in the public folder, you know, is where the index file is where where you know the HTML loads. So I'm gonna click on the public folder. As you see here, Laravel 5. So we can see this working fine and the project is ready and you know ready to for us to go ahead and uh, change it and make it our own. So in the next tutorial we're going to go ahead and talk about MVC and how we can use Laravel to create our projects as well as using Bootstrap and other you know uh, and other things of that nature to make our website more uh, appealing kind of like the Laravel website here looks very nice uh, very nicely organized and very uh, you know the colors and everything. We're going to be using Bootstrap for that. But that, that will not be it for this tutorial, so make sure you have this running and so you can follow with the next tutorial. And thank you for watching, and remember the next tutorial will be about uh, MVC and how uh, Laravel works. So thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and stick around for the next tutorial. Uh, thank you guys.